Um, thinking about more positive things, um, favourite marketing campaigns of 2019, and we'll open this up beyond automotive, so it doesn't have to be anything to do with cars. Um, Matthew, we'll start with you. What, what's been your favourite campaign that's well, really stood out? That's a difficult one. That really is. Um, sadly, nothing stands out for me. Okay. I think even, you know, we, we're at Christmas and, and everyone's watched the latest, uh, you know, uh, adverts and so on, and you actually just sit there and go, is that it? Okay. And, and I think this year there is, there's probably been a rise of, of me looking at things thinking, what are you trying to sell me? Hmm. Because I don't, I don't get it. And it's beautiful and it's cinematography is fantastic and, you know, landscape, whatever. Whatever product is, you sit there and go, that's, that's not different. Uh, right. we, we do a thing where um, when we're at uh, shows, we give out socks. Okay. You know, lo- lose your socks, not your leads. And we have more requests for those socks than any of the expensive giveaways. You know, you, you get people at shows who go around looking for, for the giveaway sort of thing. Mm. Yeah, we're becoming known for our socks. Yep. That has more impact than advertising and digital media and, and, and things like that. So it goes back to what Keith said, keep it simple. Yep. You know, you, you, these people get blown out of all proportion with their budgets. Mm. Keep it simple. And also, you've got something tangible there with the socks, haven't you? Absolutely. I think it's, it's if, if you receive a piece of mail these days, hard physical mail, it's surprising, isn't it? You think, what's, you know, what's this? Yeah. Um, that's a, a, probably a tactic that's being used more and more often, I think. Um, Keith, a, any thoughts on particular marketing campaigns this year that have delighted you or um, surprised you in a good way? Uh, my team hate me because I have a saying that uh, there's no new marketing, it's just reinvented. Mm. Um, but, and I know the guys talked about it earlier, but I thought the BMW advert of regards to, the, you know, the, the uh, doctors as it was fantastic. I yeah. mean, it, you know, I've worked for Mercedes for a long time now and you watched it and I was convinced until yeah. that last bit. I was like, oh my God, <laughs> that is amazing. And that stood out. That, that was fantastic. That is a reason to listen to the, the previous episode, actually, which we won't, uh, we'll, we'll leave it on a cliffhanger there. So if you haven't seen that advert, I've seen it. It's, it's very, very, like you say, so convincing um, and funny as well. There's nothing wrong with it being funny and poking, no, poking fun at one brand. Uh, Darren, anything in particular that, that uh, springs to mind? Something out of industry, and it was actually the music industry that uh, this campaign came from. There was a heavy rock band from uh, Sheffield called While She Sleeps, and they uh, did a a campaign based around a new T-shirt for the band. And the campaign was used to stress how the music industry has changed over the last 20 years and stressed how important selling merchandise is now to bands over um, selling actual music. It just stated on the T-shirt that it would take the equivalent of 5,000 streams of the band's music to give the band the same revenue of just selling one T-shirt. It then reminded the audience that 76% of music is actually um, streamed now uh, as opposed to sort of physical purchases. And it said, you know, buy this T-shirt and you'll support your band and support the industry and keep the thing that you love running a lot longer than uh, just 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 doing your part in terms of uh, listening to the to, to the music, and uh, I really liked the fact that ha- that had you know a really wide impact in terms of the industry. They designed a, a template of the T-shirt that other bands and fans could then print to spread yep. the message mm-hmm. further. And again, it's about that community thing, isn't it? It's and about, it's simplicity again. I mean, uh, band absolutely. T-shirts, things that have been around <laughs> yeah. for centuries, yeah. but um, yeah, you, know, you get kids wearing Ramones T-shirts. Yeah. You probably don't know what the, who the Ramones are, but um, yeah, and it's just simplicity, <coughs> keeping it simple. <coughs> Totally agree. Um, Joel, what's, can you think of anything that uh, marketing-wise that's... I think um, probably not uh, standing out, but clever marketing. I, was, I, I always think of this one, and that's the Innocent Drink. Um, they brought out a smoothie this year, and they called it... Um, I'll get it the right way around. I think they called it Blue. Yeah, they called it Blue. Yep. And um, it's green. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't know whether it was an organic um, idea. Or but... a copyright mistake, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> but they uh, went on social media with it and the argument started, is it green or is it blue? And organically it grew out yeah. and uh, brand awareness. It was absolutely brilliant yeah. because cheap advertising campaign, um, I don't think you could have predicted. And it comes down to being adaptable to how that's going to go. Um, but I re- that one really stood out for me. Yeah. Um, but yeah, not. Not complicated. No, not at all. No, it's similar to what I think probably my favourite was, I th- I'm sure it's, I'm get this wrong probably, but I'm sure it's Brewdog um, who just have a, it's a, a, a 10, 20 second TV advert and it's just the word advert 
on the screen with, with music behind it, and that's it. Um, white background, black lettering, nothing more. Appears for 10 seconds and disappears. And for, for a similar reason, it gets you thinking, and then you go on, you head on to Twitter and start typing, you know, you type in Brewdog advert. Then you start getting involved in conversation because people are saying, did you see that advert? So it, again, it, that would have cost them pennies. But, um, yeah. Not pennies, but very little. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, and it's just, again, it's that simplicity thing, isn't it, really? 